All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. Let's see what we get. My last round of the day. I, if you haven't noticed, I did post the first round of the Beating Bam event or Beat Bam, whatever it's called. Um, I played like garbage the first event, so I figured maybe if I record these rounds, I'll play a little better. So check out round one. I'll try to get to the rest of the rounds uh, this evening. But for now, we got Northern Lights, Pioneer Bay, and Grizzly Gulch, and we're playing against Mr. Kawagan. Kawagan. That's how Daniel says it, I think. Uh, anyways, let's see if we can get some good shots for y'all. I had a decent round one for the event, so we'll see if we can keep it going tonight. Um, but check that out if you haven't played round one yet. Ooh, tough wind here on Northern Lights hole nine. Let's go for the, I'm going for the ace. Let's go for all the glory here. Glide, skip, rive on a forehand. I powered it down just a touch and I should not have done that. I might get lucky and maybe get a big skip over the tractor. No, not back there. <laughs> that is not where we wanted to go. If I can make this, it would be awesome. Drop shot over the house. Get in the basket. Oh, just over the top. But he gets the par two, so bad choice there going for it in that wind. See if we can, uh, I'll play aggressive as long as I'm not too far down. See if we can get a look at Eagle on this this hole here. We're going to try to go glide, skip, rive. Hopefully we don't hit that rock. Dang it, Aaron. Maybe still get a... I don't know if we're far enough here. Let's see what the wind... Nah. Too risky to go across. And if I did, I wouldn't have a, a great look at it anyway, even if I made it. So we're just going with the roll explorer. And pretty much playing for birdie. There's always a small shot you can, small chance you can make this, but not very likely. A tree in the way, and you got to hit it just right with a skip, and that's way too far right. But we're going to get the birdie. We're going to stay tied. Moving into hole three. Nothing too exciting for you to watch yet. Oh, maybe on this hole we can get something. We're going with the vandal. Actually, I'm going to go forehand in this wind. Usually in this big tailwind, the forehand gets me up to my same spot, kind of. Uh, a little off to the right. But the backhand, I just have to worry about going long, so that's why I like to do that. Actually, I think we can go Vandal again in this wind. Do a little flex action around the tree into the basket oh decent little effort there need a little more turn perhaps would have been a little low but it looked pretty good and more importantly we're still tied done with northern lights on to pioneer bay almost got the eagle here earlier we had a big tailwind and i skipped it across but i missed with the harp but definitely not one that happens very often Trying to put this, uh oh, turn that a little too much. Hopefully, it can stay right of these trees. Uh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, so every once in a while, you get it to skip in, it doesn't happen very often. Maybe one out of every hundred tries with this shot, but we're gonna try it anyway. Glide, skip, arrive, perhaps. No, too short, not gonna skip high enough. It was on a good line though. Another birdie. Oh, we gain a stroke. Now we can get even more aggressive. We got a stroke to play with. This one, not a good wind here. Let's put some highs around a glide turn. Probably gonna hit the rock here, unfortunately. Off the route maybe, eh. Just playing for birdie all day long here. High with the turn glide, about a half a power of Anheuser. Just throw it out here, get as far down there, but not too close to the wall. Pretty good line for the forehand here. We're gonna go forehand with the glide, skip, arrive. Try to flex it around the pyramid. This looks like it's gonna go off the pyramid. Would have been in trouble before they 
removed the stickiness of the pyramid. It would have probably stuck on there, but now it slides right off it. it makes this hole a little bit easier. 59 feet, we get the birdie. Looks like he's way back there, but might have froze a little bit to where I'm not seeing his shots. Hopefully it picks up. What is my connection? Yeah, it might be my connection. Who knows? So, before I throw a shot, I'm gonna, eh, I think we picked back up. Either way, we're going backhand, glide, skip, drive, a little bit of Anheuser, and let that wind bring it back. This looks like it's going to be great. Get a nice big skip. Not much I can do with this. It's too risky to try anything cute on this shot. So I'm just going glide sapphire, slide it up there, try to get up to that top level. That's the goal. It's where we have a nice flat putt for birdie. And see if his stroke started picking up here. Dang it. I don't know what's going on. See if he's got a score for hole five yet. Oh, there he comes. He got the birdie. So still got a one-shot lead. I should have waited for him there. We'll try to play slow here. Oh, tough wind here. I'm going to aim nice and low because of this big headwind. And straight pull down. Usually I'm going to aim out to the right in the three wind, but... Oh, almost made it. Stop laughing at me. Have you been out in the garage since I took that gas can out or no? It's terrible. Still? I brought in Carly's clothes to for M to pick yeah. which one she wants. Alright, pause that. Sorry, wife came in, I was talking to her a little bit. Looks like he got the birdie there. See if we can get something fun for the oh, here we go. Oh, it's tough, tough to judge, but we're going for it. Water skip, Vandal. Trying to figure out how I want to adjust here. I'm going to definitely power down because of this big tailwind. And let's try it right there. It's going to stable up because I'm powering down. This looks pretty decent, actually. Hit in the basket. Oh, just off to the right. Pretty pleased with my little adjustment there. That's usually a straight pull down all the way down, a disc of hyzer if it's a one win, but that, that was a tough win to adjust. But we got it to at least almost try to make it. Last hole, can we get the ace? Oh man, got a two shot lead. So there's a couple different things. We can go with the glide sapphire on a forehand, or we can go backhand with the glide or with the roll sapphire. I'm gonna try the glide sapphire route, go with my same line. The glide compared to the roll tends to turn a little more, so I gotta keep that in mind. So I'm gonna put a little more hyzer than I would with the roll sapphire. And try to get this. Oh, maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Drop, drop. Yeah, oh my gosh. Got robbed. Either way, I had some pretty sweet shots there on the last couple of holes. Neither of them dropped, but pretty pretty happy with my wind adjustments there. We get the win, and we kind of have some highlights, even though nothing fell for you. But let's take a look at, oh, that spike. I love that spike. Razor Claw, the Svea and the Core. The river and the musket roll. That's a sweet looking river there. Love it. Glide skip strive. Water skip gold. Windbreak roll strive. Light glide strive. So he's got three strives in the bag. I'm a little surprised he doesn't have the water skip strive. Maybe he didn't want to fork over the money for it. He's got the windbreak glide captain. The paradigm roll sapphire and the water skip sapphire. Man, that is a fun looking bag right there. I like it. All right, guys, hope you enjoy that round, and check out my round one of Beating Bam. And as always, have a great day, and thanks for watching me play some DGV.